Friends, brothers and sisters, it's so good to be with you again. I'm here with Dr. LeFevre, and uh, it's just a pleasure to be along with you. And uh, coming to you today with a word from the Lord, a word from the primary source. And I want to talk, we're going to talk to you today about something that people usually hear about, but sometimes I don't know how much we let it sink in. And what we're going to talk about today is which is so true. We're going to talk about the enterprise that pays the greatest dividends that can be paid to you. Amen. That it pays something that is non-negotiable. There's nothing can surpass uh, working for the Lord. That's Amen. what we'll be talking about, working for the Lord. And working for the Lord pays off, brothers and sisters, in great dividends, in great peace, a great satisfaction, great love and joy. And it brings the best out of all of us. Amen. So let us um, get ready to dig into this and find a pathway toward a better and a richer life for everyone out there. You got to think about this. Look, let me tell you something. God loves Everybody, everybody on the face of this earth. There are about, about 8 billion people on earth in the world. Guess what? God loves them all. And he all 8 billions. And he wants everybody to be saved. Amen. And uh, we know everybody not going to be saved. But that is God's desire for everybody. And look, my friends, the best thing that anybody can do is uh, serve the Lord and work for God, even starting from a little child, from the time that they're in pre-primer, they're in the kindergarten, right on through high school, middle school, everything. Serving the Lord right on into when you get married, go to college, everything is going to make a richer life. And, uh, you know, it's, it's no really real uh, hardship, you know, in a sense, People think it's hardship. Best thing we can do is work for the Lord. I think about a great character in the Bible, Isaac. Isaac, uh, one year he sowed in a land, in the land, and he reaped a hundred foes because God blessed him because he went on in there and he sold and he worked for the Lord and who worked for God, he would pay off. And whatever is right, he will always pay off. My friend, let us glorify God in how we work Amen. for him. Because when we work for God, we are really working for a better life for ourselves. I got a scripture I want you to consider uh, today. That is Colossians chapter three, verse 24. 20, what's it, 24 through 25. Can you read that for us, doctor? Colossians chapter number 3, verses 23 says, and 24, mm -hmm. and whatsoever ye do. It's right there in the Bible. You know, we can hear it and don't hear it. What are we talking to you about today? Whatever you do, you know, do it like you're working for the Lord. That's what I'm talking about, you know, on your job, all your investments, everything you do, you know, all your work, you know, work at it as you are working Amen. for the Lord. When you're preaching, when you're singing, when you're working, when you're serving, everything. I think you got that. Go ahead, brother. Do it. Hallelujah. Heartily. See that? Do it heartily. As to the Lord. As to the Lord. It's telling you right there in the Word of God. But look how many times we just, we just go right past that without even recognizing what it says. Do it as you're doing it unto the Lord. That's what this message is about today. Amen. Go ahead. And not unto men. Not unto <laughs> men. Everything. You think about that. Think about that. So many times we work for ourselves. We work for other people. But look, just work as you are working for the Lord. Everything in your Sunday school teaching and whatever you do as you're working for the Lord. When you're even raising your kids, I'm working for the Lord and raising my kids. Amen. Uh, in my relationship, you can say with my spouse, everything. Come on. See how people miss out? Go ahead, preach it. Knowing that of the Lord, ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance for ye serve the Lord Christ. Let me tell you something, Tom. What are you really telling you there? Just like he blessed Isaac, you know, when he showed. God has blessed us when we put forth our best effort. You know, Isaac sowed those seeds as he was sowing them unto the Lord. Amen. You, know, you work that way for God, and you got to reap a great blessing. That's the only thing that's holding us back. 
from going to, to the level that God wants us to go to. I can tell you right now, God can turn everything around. We start working as we're working for the Lord. Everything we do. Come Amen. on. Verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he had done. Yeah. And there is no respect of persons. See, there's no respect of persons. That's for everybody. All of us, we step up to the plate and put our foot in the right place every time. Uh, work and, you know, put your best foot forward Amen. every day in every effort. Give it your best shot as you're working for the Lord. I call it shoot your best shot, brothers and sisters, as you work. It's going to produce a great life. And I got one more thing to say, Doc. I'm going to turn it over to you. But look, let me tell you something. What I'm saying, and I learned it for myself, glorify God in your work. If Amen. you just write that down, glorify God, God in, in your, your work, work, in everything you do. Now, come on, man of God, and bring this word to us today because I'm excited and, uh, and you know, we just got to keep on working for the Lord. Keep on, keep on working for the Lord. Everything you do, when you go in there and cook breakfast, cook it like you're cooking it for the Lord. Everything you do, when you're reaching out to people, go ahead, brother. I'm so excited about it. Amen. I know uh, when we work for the Lord, we do everything that's working for the Lord, I know the benefits that is in that. Let us begin this message with a word of prayer, Pastor. Father God, I come now this day, God, because you have already shown me in my spirit and then you want me to show it to the people. What bring us the best life and the most peaceful life and the life that's filled with more joy and more control over our feelings and our emotion is when we do everything, Father, as we are doing unto you. Now, God, I pray and I intercede on behalf of you know, everybody that will listen to this message today, God, that they will begin to do all that work as they are working for you and they will glorify you in everything they do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, Pastor, for laying the foundation for our message today. And we are so excited about this life-changing message. Our theme that we're going to deal with today is working for mm -hmm. the Lord pays well what you say what you say working for the lord pays well y'all heard that our key text is found in matthew 20 verse 4 mm -hmm. the esv says this he said jesus said you go My he's calling all of us you go My don't God. wait for someone else into the vineyard too and whatever is right, is I will give you. This text is encouraging us to go out into the vineyard and work for the Lord. Right. Go into the world, work for the Lord, and whatever is right, mm -hmm. the Lord's going to pay you. Mm -hmm. Today, we want to encourage you to know that working for the Lord, it pays off, Pastor. Right. In everything you do. Huh? Everything In you everything do. you do. Work as you're working for the Lord, huh? Only thing you have to do, work at it as yeah. if you're working for the Lord. And if you just go out Praise there God. and work for the Lord, mm -hmm. you will be blessed now and throughout Come all on, eternity. Come on, talk to us. So our hope for you today is to know that if you would just go forth, mm -hmm. young or old, yes. and be honest in your work unto the Lord, mm -hmm. working with a good attitude, all right. letting our light shine for God, mm -hmm. that you will be a blessing if you go out there and work for the Lord and serve others. Praise God. In our text today, it's in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 20. Yeah. And we have a story that we're going to deal with today in this text. Uh, Jesus, he tells a parable or a story of what the kingdom of God is like. And I know all of us, we really want to know what heaven is like. Mm -hmm. And this text will show us. Mm -hmm. Now, the backdrop of this story, you may ask, well, why did Jesus tell this story? Right. Well, he told this story because Peter and his disciples, you know what? They wanted to know what's going to be the reward my, if I decide my, to follow you. My. Because Peter, he was a well-known fisherman. And your key. history said he was married with There's children. But the key is he really wanted to know as Peter. People in our day, they want to know, listen, if I go to church, if I serve the Lord, what's in it for me? And I want you to know that if you serve the Lord faithfully, mm -hmm. you will have a wonderful adventure. You will have a blessed life and you will be a blessing not only for yourself, but a blessing for others. Praise God. 
That, that, that's real. That is real. I believe you. Come on. Now notice in the Living Bible, Matthew 19, 27 through 29. Mm -hmm. Then Peter said to him, he's talking to the Lord. You know, we've given up that's everything God. to follow you. Think about Peter. He gave up a job of being a fisherman. He gave up some relationships. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know what? It's everything. Mm -hmm. What will we get? Mm -hmm. Peter Mm -hmm. Know this. Peter is really thinking chiefly about temporary, oh temporary God. things. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes that blocks us because Peter is not seeing the big picture. He's not really faster seeing mm -hmm. the benefit of the heavenly blessing of working for the Lord. He's just thinking, listen, I'm leaving my fishing boat. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving my family. Well, what am I going to get? Notice what Jesus said. Right. Jesus replied, I assure you, it's a fact. Uh -huh. You... Okay. Okay. That when the world is made new mm -hmm. and the sons of men sits on his glorious throne, oh my you God. who have been my followers, notice, mm -hmm. will also sit on 12 thrones. So the first mm -hmm. thing he said, listen, when I come back, I sell up my kingdoms. You're going to sit on 12 thrones, judging the you 12 tribes. But he didn't stop that, Pastor. He didn't stop. He said, and everyone <laughs> who has given up houses right. and brothers or sisters and father and mother children or property for my sake mm -hmm. will receive a hundred times as much in return and will inherit eternal life praise god so i believe what he's telling them here doctor no more not so much to, to live to give up or or uh, something material, but what he's saying if you put me first Amen. if you would put my work first and you go ahead on and work for me and work for the Lord. He's telling us the same thing. And you mean, you say, you mean to tell me if I work for the Lord that I'm going to do but so much Amen. better in all my other relationships. Yes, that's Amen. what we are telling you. And that's what Jesus is saying. You put him first. We put him first. And you be willing to go out there and work and bring glory, glorify the Lord and how well that you work in everything. And watch God, watch him, uh, watch the kind of, uh, yield that, that, that you will receive, what you will receive back without even asking for it, without even looking for it. Hey Amen, Pastor. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Encouraging us. Listen, put God first above mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. and God will bless you. I mean, that's what good work is. Wholeheartedly, like Pastor mentioned, mm -hmm. put your whole heart mm -hmm. into your work. Mm -hmm. Now, you may ask us, well, what does it mean to work for the Lord? Working for the Lord means going out there in the vineyard of life, mm -hmm. putting forth your best effort. It means honoring God, mm -hmm. putting him first, putting his value first. And after all, he's the boss anyway, right. Pastor. And I, th I think another way I look at it too, working hard in oh, the God. marketplace, in the marketplace, write that down, in the marketplace of life, and it's going to reap you a harvest far better than you can think. Just like Isaac did when he sowed in, in the land, he reaped a hundredfold. And God blessed that. God blessed him. Blessed us. that. And the same thing, he's going to bless us. Yeah. You know, Pastor, a few months back, I, I met this businessman. And mm -hmm. um, at the time, uh, I did not know that I was speaking to the owner of the business. I hear you. I hear you. And he was out there working with the rest of the laborers. And when I asked him, I said, um, I said, who's the boss? Mm -hmm. Well, he said to me, he said, God is the boss. All right. Now. He said, I work for him. Look at that. See what we're talking about. This yeah. owner pastor, he realized God gave you him know, a crown. He was successful. And he said, I work for God. My I'm just a God. steward. How did he know that? I'm a steward. How and this man that? was putting God first in his work. And he was glorifying God in his business. But perhaps today you never thought about it this way. Mm -hmm. But what if you glorify God in all your activities? Activities. Mm. As a mother, mm -hmm. glorifying God. Mm -hmm. As a father, mm -hmm. glorifying God. As a child, you say, no, I'm going to please my <laughs> parents. I'm going to glorify yes. God. Yes. Students, you, doing your Look job, me. working with a good mm -hmm. attitude. Even when you encounter difficult people, mm -hmm. you still realize, listen, I'm working for the Lord. I have to be the Lord's hands. I have to be the Lord's feet. I have to work as Thank unto the Jesus. Lord. That makes me feel good. I think even if you get up and you sing, if you look at it as you singing for the Lord, it's going to be a far amen or uh, you know rendition of whatever you do. And the same thing when you're preaching for the Lord, 
when you are working for the Lord. You know, I'm thinking too, even if you, not that God played golf or play maybe basketball or football, love, but if you're going to play it, but play it like you're playing for God. You Amen. Know, maybe that's what Michael Jordan did. Maybe that's what LeBron James does. Look, work as you're working, working for God, God in everything that we do. You know that's got to be, you, that have to make you success. Praise God. If you couldn't grasp, if you, whatever you do, go out there like Dr. King said, if you are sweet streeping, if you sweep it like Michelangelo painted pictures, how can you not be successful? If you are a porter on a job, whatever it is, if you are a laborer, how can I get a witness? I see where you're going right there. You're helping somebody. Go ahead, preach it. I love what Pastor said. Our action verse in Colossians yeah. 3 and 23 and 24 from the NIV, it says, whatever you do, whatever you do. Pastor gave a whole list of things mm -hmm. we have to engage in. Work as with all your heart, mm -hmm. all your mind. Working as for the Lord, not mm -hmm. for human mass. See, that's what throws us off. Mm -hmm. When a human master or a boss doesn't respond the right way, it throws us off track. But when God is your heavenly boss, you're working for him. Nothing distracts you. Nothing disturbs you. It may hurt you, mm -hmm. but you're focused on God and pleasing him. Okay. And it helps us to navigate life much better. Absolutely. Knowing. Yes that we're going to receive a reward from mm -hmm. him. Yeah, just knowing that it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Come on. Now, in our text today, we want you to consider three points as we unpack mm -hmm. this story, this well-known Bible passage. First, that God is always calling, <clears throat> he calling. workers he in his calling. vineyard. Yeah, he calling. Number two, that we should go out into the vineyard and do an honest day's work for the Lord, knowing that he pays well. And the final thing, mm -hmm. don't murmur, don't mm -hmm. complain. Just go out there and God will bless you. Let us unpack our text. Mm -hmm. Go on a journey with us in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 20 Follow from this. the Follow Modern this. Man Bible. Follow this. The scripture says, mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of a vineyard. All right. He went out early. Know this. Mm -hmm. I like a good boss. He went out early in the morning to hire some men to work in Look his vineyard. Workers. Go ahead. He agreed to pay them mm -hmm. the regular wage mm -hmm. as a silver coin, a denarius, and sent them to work in the vineyard. Mm -hmm. So he went out again. Right. Notice in this text that it's a frequent call, the marketplace mm -hmm. at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. He went out at nine mm -hmm. and he saw some other men staying, standing, doing nothing. Pastor. Being an That's the thing about it. too many people are uh, uh, idle, you know, you're just sitting there. You might be doing something. You might be working hard at playing checkers or playing on the phone or doing something else, but are you working hard uh, as the Lord has commanded? That is the key. Go ahead, preacher. So he told them, mm -hmm. you also go. You go too. To work you in the too. vineyard you not. and I will pay you a fair wage. He said, I'm going to be fair. I know you're standing here yeah. idle. You're yeah. doing nothing. Seem to be wasting time. But I want you, you to go to out be, there. You don't have to be idle. Go ahead. You don't have to be. Right. Then, mm -hmm. about 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. again, about 3 o'clock, he went again. Mm -hmm. See, I told you the point that the Lord is always, always calling, calling us, us calling to us. work. This is an invitation. Yeah. But at what point will you answer the call? The, the Lord has perhaps been calling you a long time to work in the vineyard. But for some reason, we've allowed the cares of this world to keep us from going out there and Praise working. God. But notice this call. Listen, I'm calling at six in the morning. I'm calling at noontime. I picture that as God calls you at different intervals of your life. Right. He may call you when you're young, right. but if you're too busy, you may not hear the call. Hear he may call you when you get a little older, but sometimes we get too bogged down in relationships and we miss the call. Sometimes he calls couples, but don't be like that man in the Bible, mm -hmm. the Lord called him to a bank where he was married so he didn't yes, come yes. see there's always a call some people Thank that you, other things get in the way of working for the lord pastor let me tell you something I, I feel you what it is friends out there listen to this you hear the boss when he called god is the boss he's always calling but sometimes we're too busy too or we're too focused on something else to hear his call he called he called to become kingdom workers 
He come, oh, go ahead, preacher. This is so exciting, so good. Come on. So the boss called that six. Mm -hmm. He called that nine. The Praise man at God. nine said, well, nobody hired me. He called that noon time. And then he went out at three. Right. He sent Thank them out you. there. It was nearly five o'clock. The mm -hmm. day is about to end in the Jewish day and end at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's about Praise five o'clock when he went out to the marketplace. You know what this shows me? It's never too late. It's never Even too late. around the end, God is still calling before the day closes. You know, perhaps before life ends, God, I'm giving you a chance. Answer my call. Notice it's five o'clock. The sun's going down. When he went to the marketplace and he saw some other men standing still, they were still standing there. He asked him My a question. God, Why are you stuff. wasting the whole day? I feel good. I Have feel you ever good. saw somebody that was wasting the whole this. day? Wasting good. life, yeah. wasting vitality, yeah. Yeah. wasting the strength right. that God has given. God don't want to do that. He don't want us to do that. So that's why he's always calling. He said, look, mm -hmm. you waste the whole day. He mm -hmm. asked them, it is because no one, they said it's because no one hired us. This it, may be an excuse. This. Think that, that. Sometimes we, we think that, like Terry, right now, if we listen, God is calling all of us to a higher rim, to a better life, but you got to hear him. He's calling us to more love, more joy, more peace, more satisfaction. He calling us he calling to us. better everything, but you got to hear him. You have to hear the call. You got to hear him when he calls. And then when you hear him call, get up. Get up. Get up and move out on your best foot. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> These men said no one has hired us. You, you think that? Well, then you also go, you go. to work mm -hmm. in the vineyard. Praise God. He told them, I know it's late. Mm -hmm. No one hired you. But I want you to go out there mm -hmm. and work. Now, when evening came, it's time mm -hmm. to get paid. The owner so told that. his foreman, I want you to call all the workers. Mm -hmm. and I want you to pay them their wages. I want, guess what I want you to do? Start with those mm -hmm. who were hired last. So the guys who went out at five o'clock, mm -hmm. we're going to pay you first. And the ending with those who hired first. Notice, the men who pastor had begun to work at 5 o'clock was paid a silver coin. They were given a denarius, a full day's pay. I but bet God, they glorify God in those hours that they did work. I get to you, they glorify God. That's what brought them a bigger harvest. And whenever you start, maybe you haven't started yet, you start to glorify God and watch what kind of harvest we are going to reach. We reap, brother, in love, joy, all this self-control, all these great things we will reap if we get up and hear what he calls. He is calling and going out there. And then, and then, then if your work is good work and, and, it's, and it brings glory to God, it brings glory to the boss man, to the big boss man, who is God? Praise God. The Jehovah. I tell you what, watch what, how he pays off. Now, you wouldn't imagine what boss on this planet would let you work for one hour and give you a full Praise paycheck. God. We told you in this sermon that working for the Lord pays well, but I imagine these guys went out there diligently for that yeah. hour, and they worked with a good attitude. Pastor, how good does God have to be to pay these men a full day's pay for just an hour of work? But you what, God is amazingly good. And he is maybe amazingly observant. So he looking at these men's attitude. He looking at attitude. God pays a lot of attention to attitude and disposition. He pays a lot of attitude to attitude. And he likes diligence. Yeah, he like he likes hard work. Good hard work. I get I get to anything. See, God pays attention to that. You may be curious. Thank you for that, Pastor. Yeah. Now, what's gonna happen to the one who went out there early? We told you earlier that. Peter, he wanted to know, what am I going to receive if I leave everything? Now, so when the men who were the first to be hired came to be paid, well, look at it, they thought they would get more. But they too were given a silver coin of the nest. See, we have to be careful how we think. They told mm -hmm. them, they took their money right. and started grumbling. They started complaining mm -hmm. against the employer. And here they are complaining against the Lord. Do we sometimes, Pastor, mm -hmm. 
not have the type of gratitude and we may not verbally complain, but sometimes we are not in an attitude to be one of complaining. And what they didn't recognize, they had got a good wage. The man had paid them well, but their problem was it was their attitude and and that they allowed jealousy to get in the way of misunderstanding. They just didn't have no idea that that why these men were getting made, made poor more, not because they didn't get paid adequately, but how can these guys you know, make as much as us, but see that God set his high and he look as low. And when he see a great attitude and he say, see that great determination, cause see what it was. God saw something they didn't see. Amen. God saw something dark they didn't see. God was aware. God saw these other men's effort, uh, their attitude. He saw all of these things that they did, they not, did see. not see. And they didn't understand. Go ahead, preacher. The men who were hired less, they worked only one hour. See, they knew all the details. Sometimes we watch it others when we really should be <laughs> focusing on God. They said, while we put up with a whole day's work in the hot sun, and they tried to give all the reasons why they should have been paid more. Mm-hmm. But at the end of this text, Jesus concluded, right. so those who are last will be first, mm-hmm. and those who are first will be Last. Because those last ones might be willing to work harder to put in a greater effort. Because sometimes when people enter into the work of God, they might join the church later on, but they're willing to go in and roll their sleeves up and get to work. You know, sometimes a deacon or a missionary, even a preacher, anywhere, they will come later when someone else has been there a long time and have not been putting forth the same effort. See, God looks at that. God looks at that. In this text, he said, in response, the only said, I didn't cheat you. See, he, he I did gave it. you he what was it. fair. He I did. gave you what you agreed Absolutely. to do. Right. So in our uh, message today, mm-hmm. we want to encourage you to know that working for the Lord pays off. And there are so many benefits to working for the Lord. Mm-hmm. As we work for the Lord, it strengthens our faith. As we work for the Lord, it gives us endurance. And as we work for the Lord, it produces love. You, it produces Jesus. joy. You, it Jesus. produces peace. You, it produces the character of God as we go out in the vineyard and work for the Lord. So perhaps today, give your resume to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Go out there mm-hmm. and work for him. And whatever is right, he'll pay you. Find instructions from our pastor. Oh, Lord, this is so wonderful. It's so wonderful. So I guess what it, it, what it all come down to it's not too late, never too late. But from now on, you go out there and you put forth your best effort. That's for all of us. It's not about yesterday. And in this moment, go out and put in and work hard for the Lord and glorify him in everything you do. Don't let it be half-hearted. You work in the church, you serve, you're on the usher board, you're on the deacon board, you're on the missionary board, whatever you're on. You're on the elder board. Look at that. Put forth that great hearty effort and it's not too late not too late it's not too late you know some of you have not gotten up at all you didn't hear him call and you know as we come to our conclusion somebody been sitting there for years and months or years and god has been calling you through different ways and you didn't hear it and we could be out there sowing good seeds thank you so much doctor for this message and and i just hope that you all see the principles in this message and see that working for the lord pays well not only good it pays well and remember in that passage of those men they were not grumbling and complaining because they didn't get paid fair because i'm sure that they was paid a good way but he said how can these guys come late at this hour at this point and make more just as much as we are making and that's what people don't understand but it's based on the effort the attitude and the quality Amen. of work that we produce for the lord and the kind of glory the kind of glory that he can get out of it so let god get glory think about that our, everything we do Amen. our singing our preaching our witnessing everything this is what going on make a difference and it's gonna gonna pay off on on your other thing just like isaac just like isaac he sold in faith he sold in that land and with his uh crops he reaped a hundredfold that year that year same thing with you this year right now if, if you're going out there and and uh, and work hard for the lord yeah it's just gonna pay you well thank you pastor for those final instructions mm-hmm. 
at the end of every message, we like to give you an opportunity to mm -hmm. enter the vineyard through a simple profession mm -hmm. of faith. Mm -hmm. You enter it by saying, Lord, I'm sorry for not going out and working for you. Forgive mm -hmm. me of my sins. I receive mm -hmm. you. I make you Lord. I make you my savior. What I'm going to do, I'm going to surrender to you mm -hmm. by faith. And when you do that, he'll mm -hmm. come into your heart. Mm -hmm. He'll make you his child. He'll fill you with the Holy Spirit and find your good Bible teaching church where you can go out mm -hmm. into the vineyard and work for the Lord. You know what I see, doctor? Uh, uh, when you talk about going to the vineyard and work, you're talking about going into the marketplace of life. And, and when you when you're working in the marketplace, you're working in the Amen. local law. If you're working in Walmart, if you're working in CVS, if you're working in the church. You know that's what God Amen. is looking at because you're going to be a light to someone else. And if you put it forth that great effort, then He's going to see it. He'll be so happy, so happy, and He's going to reward you well. Thank you for that, Pastor. You're welcome. Also, thank you to our new subscribers and mm -hmm. I heard the beautiful messages that I have received from mm -hmm. how our messages have been a blessing to you. So yes. in that comment section, yes. make a note of how this message have encouraged you. And thank you for sending the messages Amen. to loved ones thank and you. friends. And thank you to all of our new subscribers that have joined this channel. Well, may the Lord bless you, you and yeah, keep, keep you, you and make his face to shine, shine upon, upon you. you. Until yeah. next time, God bless Amen. you. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God.